The Cahuzac affair first saw the light of day at Mediapart. At the beginning of December, the online newspaper published a four-minute recording of someone it said was Jerome Kozak saying, What annoys me is that I still have an account open at UBS, but there's nothing left in there, is there? The only way to close it is to go there. One of the founders of Mediapart, Edwy Planel, said the most important aspect of the scandal is what is impacting most on French democracy. What's unprecedented is the democratic earthquake that's been set off by this scandal. It's not the most serious scandal of recent times. Betancourt, Karachi, Tekedin, Sarkozy, Gaddafi are much more significant in terms of exploiting the justice system, the amount of money, arms trafficking. They're much more serious, which weighed heavily on the old conservative right-wing majority. What's new here is the democratic earthquake, because the political class, all sides mixed together, and an element of the media went along with Jérôme Kauzak in his lie. For three and a half months, Mediapart was alone, even while the facts were on the table. The facts revealed by Mediapart on the 4th and 5th of December. So today we see this almost oligarchic world somewhere between politics money and the media, which has gone along with the lies of Mr. Kauzak, and everyone's discovered that the head of the tax department was himself a fraudster. So all French people understand that this is a scandal of public virtue and public morals. It's a severe blow for the image of the irreproachable republic. Quite simply, it's a serious blow for the Republic. It shows that France is a low-grade democracy. There are scandals in all our countries and sometimes corrupt politicians. A living democracy is one where you can not only make revelations, but where once something is revealed, the opposition swings into action and makes sure that justice prevails and sanctions are imposed. From day one of these media part revelations, Mr. Kauzak should have left government, not use it to protect himself. He has the right to defend himself, but not to make hostages of his political family, the parliament, the government of the current majority, and not to take the state itself hostage by using the services of the state to protect himself. It's that which has been dramatic in all this, and today we're paying the price, and we'll have to respond to that with a big democratic jolt. Un grand sursaut démocratique.